Alrighty, everybody. It is more twin players here. Oh my god. I can't see in this shit. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, so welcome back, everybody, to a new video. Um, so, you guys are probably like, Twin, what the hell are you doing? Well, I, as I said and a promise to everyone, I'm going to be doing a Halloween costume probably like every tutorial throughout October. But you know, I found this one in my basement, and it's kind of stupid because it's not like not it's connected to the suit, so I can't breathe. I don't know how Spider-Man does this. Not gonna lie. All right, so I can't see. And I'm putting my POV on the screen right now. I literally cannot see. Um, if you're new to my channel, <laughs> feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Oh shit! Hit that subscribe button, post notifications. It means so much to me, everybody. Um. channel feel free to join discord in the description and uh you know means a lot too all right let's get straight to this video so today we are going to be making the proximity prop gear givers <laughs> now um no actually yeah we're gonna do the proximity prop gear givers in this video so i'm not going to show you too much around in this tycoon i literally cannot see right now oh my god so basically in the other tycoon videos if you're new to the channel um, if you haven't watched tycoon videos feel free to go watch them You guys probably have a tycoon giver in your tycoon and it's like a thing you just like touch and it gives you a gear We're gonna be remaking them. The reason being is it's kind of old They're storing the tools and lighting and that's not a good place to put them So I want you guys to just look at this real quick now. I, this is a little sneak peek um, This is gonna be the next video right here. I literally cannot see oh my god so Basically you have these little gear givers you walked up as proximity prompts and you hold the and it gives you the tool now this tool doesn't have anything as you can tell but um you know this is what's going to happen it's going to give you a tool and you'll be able to equip it and put in your inventory so it's really simple just stuff like this much nicer cleaner better than the other tycoon givers so yeah we're gonna hop straight into this everybody let me see if i can pause this video and um yeah you guys let's get straight into this Alrighty, so you're gonna go in the description and you're gonna find the model <laughs> And it's going to be at Proximity Gear Giver. So make sure to get that model. And once you claim it or download it, it's going to basically be in your inventory box. Just right here, guys. Um, I can't see. You know, it's too much for me. So I'm just going to put this down. Uh, yeah, I'm Peter Parker, by the way. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, guys. I'm a little loud and obnoxious. So you're going to go to the Gear Giver right here. And yeah, I literally could not see in that. Wow. So you're going to open this up. And right here, it's going to look like this. Now, I gave you guys mine just as an example because, you know, why not? You guys probably want it. Um, and basically, you're going to be putting this in the purchases folder. Now, you guys are probably like, okay, um, you know, I haven't really made a tycoon before. But if you have, I want you to watch the past videos. And you're going to be naming this like probably Giver 1 or something like that. And you're going to be setting up in the tycoon. If you don't know how to do that, like I said, watch other videos. Super easy to do. You'll be putting it under the folder of purchases. Make a button for it. Um, but it's going to be super simple like this. You're going to have a handle. And this is going to be the object, of course. And then you're going to have a proximity part. Now, this handle, we're going to just make something ourselves. So, I'm going to search up sword, and I'm going to grab Roblox's sword. Now, it's super simple. I'm actually going to put this into starter pack, but I'm actually going to drag this into replicated storage, and I'm going to create a folder. Now, that's one thing I forgot to do. Um, I'll add that into this. Um, this model will have the folder for you that's going to be called tools, and you're going to put it in replicated storage, and you're going to put that sword in here. Now, you want to create that folder, and once you create this folder like this, um, you're going to be putting the tools in here. This is where all the tools are going to be that completely work and everything like that. Now, you see how this has a handle? We're actually going to grab that, and we're going to be putting it into this model. So I'm going to just paste it in a model like this. Perfect. See how it just does this for us? Now, I'm actually going to do this in the workspace real quick because I can drag it around. Um, let me just, uh, let's see. You know, it's locked, of course, because, you know, Roblox does that. Um, so we're going to drag this, and we're going to put it like this. Easier to do. Um, and we're going to just put this inside of here. Now, once I put it inside of here, just like that. Um, perfect. You're actually good to just put this in here. Make sure there's nothing in here. Like this is good. Just keep the mesh. Delete the other one and make sure this is anchored. And then there you go. And you can even size it if you'd like. Like you can make it big. Um, something like that. But as you can tell, it's in here. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to go in the proximity prop part. So proximity prompts. 
you're going to be able to do a few things. You're able to change the properties of them. You can change them how they look. Um, the whole duration is set to one. You can change this to anything you'd like, like 0.5, anything. Keyboard activation, I just did E. And math activation, did I did five. So they, they have to be a little closer to it because you don't want to be too far or else it's going to look weird. Um, and object text, we're going to make this sword. And then we're going to say take as the action text. Um, requires line of sight. We want to make sure that's off. But then we're going to look in this script right here. So as you can tell, we have a super simple script. Now, since we did just look into the tools folder, it's called Classic Sword. So we're going to actually put the tool name right here to Classic Sword. Um, now, this is going to be basically any of the names of the tools that the tool that's going to be in this giver and you're going to be putting it in the folder. So we're going to go to storage as in basically going to replicate storage and we're going to be wave for child tools. And then we're going to do the part and proximity prompt. So when this proximity prompt gets triggered, we're going to check if it's a player and a character. We're going to find the backpack of the player as in basically when they get the tool. And we are going to create a for loop and we're going to grab that tool in storage by finding the name, this name right here. And if we find the name, as in saying right here, if we find the tool, then we're going to clone that tool. Dot, and we're going to clone it as in saying we're going to duplicate it like this. And then we're going to set it parent to the player. Now, the reason we clone it is because if you just set that parent to the player, no one else would be able to grab that tool. We don't want that. So you know, we want to make sure we clone it first, then parent it to the backpack of the player. So that's about it. Super simple. Um, I'm going to hit player here. I'm just double check and show you guys. Um, I hope you guys do enjoy these videos. Um, I'm trying my best to get videos out as much as possible. I've been super busy. But um, as you can tell, take E. Got the sword. Bada beam, bada boom. We're done. There you go, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this super little tiny Halloween tutorial um, on the tycoons, of course. If you need more explanation, let me know. Pretty simple. You're just going to be putting this into your tycoon in the uh, purchases section. Um, nothing too crazy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.